Hello there, let's talk to the about access IP utility not showing the camera. So basically I'm trying to find the camera in the network, but it's not possible. As you can see, I have an access camera connected to my switch. It's a Netgear ProSafe, which is a smart switch with PoE. So it powers the camera. When I connect here to the first port, I have four PoE ports. So in the first one, I power the camera using this ethernet cable. And then I have a second cable here that goes to my computer, this green cable. Another one here for a different device and to my router, okay? So basically the physical connection here is good. You see my computer has some indication that it's working and also the camera. I have the LEDs here blinking and working pretty fine, okay? So here in my computer, as you can see, Access IP Utility, when I refresh here, it doesn't find the camera. So basically, the Access IP Utility cannot find the camera in the network, right? So I have a problem, and then I need to find out the solution for this. The first thing that I can think about is replace cables and check cables. I did there already. The first thing that I usually do, physical connection. They're okay, the cables are okay. So next step here is check the segments. Let's say, for example, that those ports are in a different segment, a segment of these ones, okay? It could, it could happen. If I have VLANs here, for example, this is a smart switch, so I can have a VLAN here. So you can check that first. Perhaps you can use an, another switch that's not smart, then you can't have VLAN on a non-smart switch, then they are be in the same segment. All of the ports will be in the same segment that you can find your camera. Perhaps that could be the solution. Or you can also check the VLAN here if you have access to the switch, right? Let's say you are in a company, for example, you need to talk to the IT guys, or if you have access to the switch, you can do it yourself. Uh, here, for example, I have access to, access to the switch, so I can check, but I can also check different ports, right? Uh, let's say, for example, here, I can't remove the camera from this port, the port number one, and I can connect to port number two. Let's say the port's the problem or the port's in a different VLAN, something like that. Then moving from to a different port, I can change at least one variable. And now I can check again if the camera is going to work. Of course, I need to wait the camera to boot up again. As you can see, it's still in amber color here. I need to wait for the camera to go to the green state, which means the camera is working, and try again using the access IP utility, okay? Basically changing ports here and check if that solves the problem. So go to the physical part first before you go to the software part, right? So physically changing here, cameras. Of course, I need to use a second port here with the PoE port. I have four of them. I just change it to the second one here. It still powers the camera, right? And the other cables are still in the same place. So I'm changing one variable at a time and just waiting here for the camera to boot. I just take one step at a time as a technician to make sure I'm doing it right. So here, wait for the camera to boot up. It's good now because it's green. And now let me check again here on my computer with the Access IP utility. So let me just refresh it here and wait for a while because sometimes you just, you see, I show something here, I saw something here. Let me just refresh it again. Okay, the camera is still coming up. Here we go, it's working, right? So basically that could be the problem. The port number one here, for some reason, it's not working or has some VLAN or something like that. I can check that on a, on a, a web browser using here the configuration of the Netgear. Let me check here, for example, I have access to this Netgear. So here is the switch and I can come here to the VLANs and here on advanced, I can see that I have two VLANs, VLAN number one and number two, okay? For the number one, I have ports two to, uh, through eight and for number two, just port number one. So that's my problem. Port number one is in a different VLAN from the other ports, okay? So I found the, the problem there. So that's why when I change the cable to the second port, it's working right now. If I want to still use this port and I come back here, I need to change the VLAN configuration there, right? To make it work. So that is the case here, all right? So 
What I could do here is let's say, for example, here on VLAN one, I can enable this port as well, apply here. And then I have the VLAN one with all of the ports. Then it's going to work again, right? Let me just come back here with my cable to the first port. Then if I still want to use it, I can use it now because I have the VLAN working correctly here for all of the ports, okay? The camera is booting up again. Meanwhile, let me just show you here on the screen other things that you can check. Perhaps it's not a VLAN problem, it's a software problem. So you can come here and check this. Let's say here, you just need to check the firewall. Okay, so just type here firewall and check the firewall status. Usually what I do is just come here and turn off the Windows Defender Firewall, okay? I have this option here to turn off Firewall Defender just to check, okay? I would not leave this off forever. I would just check here and see if it works with Access IP Utility and then uh, turn on the Firewall back and put some rules for this Access IP Utility, okay? That's the way it works, but just take one step at a time. Turn off your firewall and try again to see if it works. Perhaps could be your problem there, right? As you can see here, let me just refresh because now I'm just looking at the camera here and I see that's green and it's in the first port, right? And back here on the screen, it's working again, right? I wanna refresh here. It just takes some time to the Access Utility to check, but it's working again with the port number one because I solved the VLAN problem, right? So if it's not your problem, back here to the firewall, that's the option, just turn off the firewall. And if you find your camera after turn off the firewall, then you need to come here to Windows Fire Defender. Here we go. You just type firewall here, you can find it. And then you can insert a rule here. Inbound rule, for example, you can insert a new rule that the program, which is the Access IP Utility, let's just find it. So we'll click here next and you look for it. Here you can go to C, Program Files, and here Access Communication somewhere. Here we go, Access IP Utility and Access IP Utility.exe. All right, so here you open, next, and allow the connection as a rule for this connection. Next again, Domain, private, public. I will leave everything here. Next, and name your rule. So, access IP utility. Okay. Any description if you want to, and then finish. And now I have a rule here on my firewall for the access IP utility. Okay. So, that's the way you can insert a rule in the firewall if you don't have one, for example, and you're good to go. Another thing that you can try is in your Ethernet interface. You come here, open network internet firewall, come here to inter Ethernet and change adapter options and check here. For example, in my case, it's connected here to this Ethernet interface. It's up and it's good. You see other interfaces here. Usually what I do is just come to the other interface and just disable them. If I'm not using them, of course. If you're using, it's a different story, but if you're not, just disable them. Let's say virtual interface. If you're using virtual machine on your computer, for example, if you're using this, like I'm using a tunnel bear adapter here for VPNs, I just disable everything here and leave just one interface working and check again if the Access IP utility is working, okay? Always refresh and wait for some time. Okay, just be patient because it takes a while to check, okay? And if you don't want to uh, know how to get here uh, because you don't have this icon here, sometimes you don't, just don't. Just type here network or Ethernet settings. Here we go, have Ethernet settings, there are Ethernet settings. You just typed here ET, it shows Ethernet settings. Then I come directly here for Ethernet, change adapter options. And here I have my Ethernet interface, okay? So that's a route that I try as well, disable everything else and just leave this one and try again with your Access IP utility, okay? So VLANs, it's 
the basic one, cables also, right? If you go physical first, check cables, check the connection here, they're working fine or not. Then check the VLANs. If you can't have access to the VLAN, just go with a regular switch. Just replace, just get a small switch for five, eight ports, whatever, just connect your camera and your computer just to test and see if they work, right? And if you're using a router instead of switch, then you can have uh, some routers sometimes. You have this option here. Let me see if I have a picture that shows. Here we go. That'll be the one, okay? Uh, here we go. Let me just minimize this one. That's the one. So I don't have this router here, but some people do. And then when you have one like this, you have this option for enable isolation, okay? So you enable isolation here on the, your LAN network so the ports cannot communicate with each other. So you have, let's say the camera, you're, instead of connecting here to a switch, you are connecting the camera to the router and then you're powering the camera using here a power supply because you have this option to connect to a power supply here and connect the cable directly to the router. And then if the router has this option to isolate the network, then it's isolating your camera from your computer, okay? Because your computer is in a different port there, on a, in your router, for example, but they're isolated from each other and then they're not working. So check this isolation here on your router. If you have a model like this, for example, that's not my case here, but just an example, you can do that. Or if your switch is connecting to one port of the router, and then you have your camera or your computer connecting somewhere to another switch, and they come together there in the router in different ports, and you also have this isolation problem here in the router, and then you need to check that, okay? So that's all that you can check, basically. And most of the time, this solves this problem with the Axis IP utility not finding on the camera in the network, right? So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.